Okay, so I'm just going to hop right into this thing because why beat around the bush? So God has sent me here today with this message. He wants someone to know that their mother is a witch. Okay. Their mother practices divination, witchcraft. Um, they cast spells or they know someone who does. And this particular mother has um, sacrificed their son or their child. They've, they've sacrificed their son or, or, or daughter, I'm sorry, in some way, shape, or form. This particular mother, she is tricky because she discourages her children against practicing witchcraft. And by no means am I condemning or judging anybody who practices witchcraft, who you know, or reads tarot, who um, practices divination, whatever, you know, to each his own. I'm not the judge. I'm sent here. I was solely sent to deliver a message, and that is what I'm doing. But this mother practices this, and she, but she, discour she discourages her children against practicing it because she knows the power that it possesses in bringing about the things that she wants, right? She doesn't want her children to have the things that she has. She don't she doesn't want them to possess the things that she possesses because she uses these things to control them, okay? So man, this is this is heavy. This is deep. But yeah, she uses this thing, these things to control her children, right? Um, anyway, God discourages against the practice of divination and witchcraft that could be referenced in Deuteronomy 9, I'm sorry, 18, 9 through 13. So I won't get into all of, all of the details and specifics of that, but God just wanted me to let someone know that their mother practices witchcraft. Your mother is not the person that you think that she is, okay? Um... You may know this, you may not, but this is for the individual who does not know. Might want to start questioning your mom on some things, okay, um, about some of her practices. <laughs> um, but what also can be referenced in, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verses 21 through 22. If you want to go read that, I won't get into that either. Um but when a message has come from, you know, the creator, okay, you can, you can reference whether or not God is speaking on how to reference whether or not a word has come from one of his chosen or prophet, right? Okay, so moving right along, okay. Um, like I said, this is a two-part message, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into what this message is is about well what the second half is about this message could be for the same individual or it could be you know referencing the same people or it could be for somebody else who knows one part may be for someone another part may be for someone else okay so witnesses yesterday i spoke on and I'm going to try to keep this brief. I'm not going to try to keep anybody, you know, real long. Because I know people, they have short attention spans. Ain't nobody trying to sit and just listen to no long, drawn out message, right? I know you will if you feel like it pertains to you, though. So, yeah. But, okay. So, yesterday I put... I recorded a video and it's here on YouTube and I thought it was titled um what was it titled it was something about bribery okay somebody used to bribe to win a case against you that was the that was 
was the message. So about this, I'm sent here. I was sent to let you know how that went down and to let you know that no pity will be shown to the briber, okay? God says that no pity will be shown to this briber because they knew better. All right, so when this case uh, went to court, okay, the case against you, this individual had one witness and, you know, one witness only. And God states in his word that one witness is not enough to convict anyone of a crime or an offense, all right? But this individual that had this case against you, they had one witness and one witness only. God wants you to know that this case did not go before a judge, okay? This case was supposed to go before a judge. So the bribe was to the bribe was to to I'm trying to I'm trying to word it, you know, right. The bribe was to have the case not go before the judge, okay? So someone accepted money in order for a case not to reach the judge. See, what was gonna take place, that judge was going to do a thorough investigation, right? And they knew, this person knew, they knew that if the case went before the judge that they were going, they were going to lose, okay? Because that judge was going to, to do a thorough investigation, right? Um, that's how that went down. That's how they ended up winning the case. They were bribed. All of the information that was presented, that you presented, it, it wasn't even it wasn't even considered. It wasn't even looked at. This person they were bribed. It was that simply put, they were bribed. But like I said, I'm not gonna make this lesson uh this message. I said lesson. And that was another video I did. <laughs> Them two videos might connect. Okay? Yeah. That was another message that I did yesterday. I talked about, I spoke on lessons, learning a lesson. So this is a lesson for somebody. What's getting ready to take place with this individual, the one who did the bribing, um, everybody involved, okay? It was a lot of people that had um, their hands in this thing, right? This In this case against you. Everybody is about to learn a lesson. Every single person that was involved is about to learn a lesson. And they will be shown no pity because in Deuteronomy chapter 19, verse 21, it states, God states in his word, show no pity, life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. So whatever that was intended to take place in your life, that these perpetrators, these frauds, these deceivers, whatever they meant for your bad, God is turning it around for your good. But whatever they meant for your bad, it's going to happen to them. The trap that they set for you to fall in, they are the ones that are going to fall in this. So that's it. That's the message. I don't know who this message is for, but... Take this word back to God. If it's for you, then it's for you. If it's not, it's not. He'll let you know. Take care. It's been a blessing. Please don't forget to do